Today on Dad Know How, we're going to take a look at a Pottery Barn crib, and we're also going to take a look at a dresser from Wayfair. Are you wearing the same thing you wore the last time? No, I changed my shirt. Oh. Sorry about that. Before we get started, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. And also make sure that you're getting all the notifications. We post new videos and reviews every week and I don't want you to miss out. So we got the crib from Pottery Barn. I put this into my first video but I didn't really talk about it too much. Um, so we got everything set up. We've got a mattress finally in. Uh, we went with the Graco mattress. It is one of the highest rated mattresses uh, that's on the market. Uh, this one was around $60, $70 so it doesn't break the bank. A lot of the mattresses I saw out there, there's a, a ton of different ones that you can go with, um, but they kind of ranged anywhere from $50, $60 all the way up to five, six, even $700. So I, I didn't really see the need to spend that much money on a mattress. Uh, this one has plenty of uh, firmness for when the baby is uh, just coming home from the hospital, but um, in reality, the baby's probably going to be five, six months old before we even put her into her crib. Um, so I'm really not concerned with the firmness too much. Uh, it is a little bit on the softer side, but hopefully that will work out. Now this crib uh, was excellent. I didn't personally have to put it together. I was a little upset because I like putting together everything myself. Um, but this is a sturdy construction. She wanted to go with the nice pleated uh, background uh, headboard. This is going to actually turn into a toddler bed um, and then it's also going to turn into a full-size bed when uh, she gets to be that size. And then the part down here with your mattress uh, that will actually drop down and you can take that um, when they start to get old enough to pull themselves up that way they're not climbing up and out of the crib uh, it's a nice sturdy place for them to lay, sleep. Uh, this is going to be a great crib. We're excited. Uh, it's again super strong. It's It's got some weight to it so it's not going anywhere. Um, this is an excellent addition to the nursery. I'll put a link to the description um, of this down below so that way you can go and check this out for yourself. It was a little bit on the pricey side but I am super happy that we went ahead and we spent the money on it. All right, so I also mentioned that we got a dresser. Uh, so this is the dresser that we got. This is another piece from Wayfair. And this is the second quality piece that we've gotten from Wayfair. I am super impressed um, with the pieces that we've gotten from Wayfair thus far. Uh, this is super sturdy, super heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. Um, I struggled getting it up the stairs. I, again, didn't have to put this together. A little bit of a disappointment for me. Um, I'm going to link to this specific piece down in the uh, description below so that way if you like the way it looks uh, or you like the features that I'm going to go over, um, you can go ahead and take a look at that. So here we have our Wayfair dresser. If you can see, it does have a little bit of a distressed look to it, which I actually kind of like. I like how it sets the dresser apart from the other things in the room. Your drawers, empty, but they won't be for long. We got tons of baby clothes to put in there for her. Again, like I said, you shove it. It doesn't go in like I'd like, but that's okay. They stay pretty well affixed. Coming down to the bottom. It's a nice big bottom drawer. Put things like blankets. Inside we've got three shelves. Put anything you like in there. Uh, the cool thing that I really liked about this was this little bar on the side here. You can actually hang the day's outfit right on, right alongside, pick it out the night before. You know, because we're all of us parents, we're all savvy, we all think ahead. Go figure, probably not. But this is solid construction. Didn't have to put it together. Came shipped to the house just like this. It's pretty great. So, there you have it. We discussed today the crib that we got off of Pottery Barn. I also talked about that dresser that we got from Wayfair. 
Again, second time ordering something from Wayfair. Super impressed, love the quality. Uh, I also love the fact that it came right to my doorstep. Didn't have to put anything together. Super easy, super quick. Uh, and the look that we were going for is absolutely stupendous. Um, so next up on the list for what I'm gonna be putting together for you guys, uh, we've got some decals that I'm going to put on the walls. Uh, there's some pretty flowers for a baby girl. Uh, she wanted to do a little something even though we can't paint in the current uh, house that we're in. Uh, but hopefully once we get uh, footed in a more permanent scenario, we'll be able to paint, do some cool things. I'll do some videos on that as well. I also have a video on the Graco stroller that we got coming your way. I didn't buy a Graco, I bought a Chico, that's my bad. I'm also going to do a review on the Chico stroller that we got, that Bravo stroller uh, with that Key Fit 360 system. Uh, I've got the base ready to go, put it in my car for when we're getting ready to deliver here in July. Uh, it's only about two and a half months away, so we got to get moving on things. Uh, I'm also going to do a couple different videos as well showing um, from a dad's perspective how we change diapers, how we hold the baby. It's all things that I've researched online. I could be doing it completely wrong, so I hope you guys are going to be honest with me. Put it in the comments below. Um, again, this is Brandon, Dad Know How. Hopefully, you guys are following along. Make sure that you click subscribe and make sure you get your notifications for every time we post a video. Take care, guys. Stay safe.